Oh, hi there. I didn't see you because my back was turned. <laughs> hey guys, it's Barbara and I'm here with Proverbs 21. So let's get it. So let's just open up our Bibles to Proverbs 21, 13. Whoever shuts his ears to the cry of the poor will also cry himself and not be heard. Fantastic. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. Just kidding. We have a few things to talk about. I know it's a short verse, but let's break it down. Break it down. Break it down. So I don't know if you heard, but let's break it down. So the first part is whoever shuts his ears to the cry of the poor. For everyone who's been following along with Proverb a Day, you've seen that there are many Proverbs that tell of poverty caused by bad conduct or choices and decisions. There are others that express God's compassion towards the poor. God cares about the poor and he commands us to have a compassionate heart towards them. And the second part is will also cry himself and not be heard. Not a very appropriate tone to say that in, but that is okay. We will reap what we have sown. It will be measured to us as we have measured to others. If we are silent to those in need, God may arrange it so we will not be heard in our time of need. Yikes, imagine that. <laughs> now just to sidetrack a little bit, um, but still kind of relevant, does anyone know The Office? You know, like that show. Do we have any Office fans around here? You know, like the show, The Office? Anybody? Anybody? Yes? You called? If you haven't watched the show, you should really get on that. It's quite chuckle worthy. Season six, episode four, timestamp. 840. It's a good scene. It's where Dwight says that Michael won't do the same for him. And then he actually puts him to the test. And Michael proves him right, saying that he won't let Dwight stay in his room because of whatever reason. And then Dwight takes back his room key and says, Ha! I knew it! Later you can find your own room. And dipped. And Michael was left without a room. And I'm sure if you've seen it, you know that he ends up in the ice machine and vending machine room. <laughs> Awkward. So that's my one-two spiel on this one-two verse. One verse, really. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Bye.